we have a line L passing through the point 271 and it's parallel to this vector here V and we're asked to find the parametric and symmetric equations solution. So the formula for the parametric equations is x equals x sub 1 plus at and we have y it's y sub 1 plus bt and then z is z sub 1 plus ct. And this problem, x1 is 2, y1 is 7, and z1 is 1. And this is our a, this is our b, and this is our c. These are called direction numbers, and v is often called the direction vector. So all we have to do is just carefully plug in the numbers. So x is equal to x sub 1, which is 2. So this is 2. And then a is negative 2. So this is going to be minus 2t. y is equal to y1. And y1 is 7. So this is 7. And then b is negative 4. So it's going to be minus 4t. And last but not least, z is equal to z1. That's equal to 1. And then c is 6, so plus 6t. So these here are the parametric equations for our line. Now to find the symmetric equations, you could just memorize the formula. However, let me show you how to come up with them. If we take each of these equations and we solve them for t, we actually get the symmetric equations. So to solve this first one for t, let's do it all at once. We'll subtract the 2. So we'll get x minus 2, and then we'll divide by the negative 2. So that's t. Here we would subtract the 7, so we would get y minus 7. Then we would divide by the negative 4. So that's also t. Here we would subtract 1, so we would get z minus 1. Then we would divide by the 6. So that's also t. So these are called symmetric equations. And notice they're all equal to t. So therefore, they're all the same. So x minus 2, they're all equal over negative 2 is equal to y minus 7 over negative 4. And this is equal to z minus 1 over 6. And so these are the symmetric equations. Symmetric equations. I hope that made sense.